Hey, welcome to, uh, this is uh, week week one, day two, day two up here, make sure you're on the right sheet, week one, day two. All right, uh, we're going to, I'm not going to do quite as many example problems today, so let's get going here. Uh, we have F8, take away G8, equals FG, the thing we're trying to find. So it's the whole minus the part equals the other part. Uh, note, remember again, these are the uh, lengths of the segments, not the names. If I wanted to talk about the name, I would put a line over top of it like that. Okay, uh, so let's see, we have 15 minus 6 equals FG. And see, 15 minus 6 is 9 equals FG. We'll put a circle around it so we can find our answer easily. Next door here, let's see, we've got, we're trying to find this little bit here. So ST is equal to, let's see, uh, the whole length, US, take away UT. So let's see, ST. U.S. is 13, U.T. is 12, so S.T. for 13 minus 12 is just 1. All right, next up. Let's see here, we've got, um, we're trying to find M.N. And M.N. is equal to L.N., the whole length, take away... L M. So we've got M N equals, let's see, we've got L N is 12, and L M is 3. So let's see, 12 minus 3, M N equals 9. Alright, I'll leave that last one up to you. We're moving on here. Name each angle in four ways. So let's talk about the other day. We've got this point here. That's the vertex and the sides are right here. Right? And we're going to name the angle, first of all, by the vertex. So we call it angle D. Of course, if there were, say, you know, other rays coming out of here, we wouldn't know which angle we were talking about, so we'd have to be more specific. And by the way, this little symbol here means angle. So it's better than writing the word angle over and over again. Uh, we've got angle E, D, C. Kind of doing that wraparound thing, or go the other direction and call it angle C, D, E. Well, finally, sometimes we'll have a small uh, number or a lowercase letter inside the angle, and we can just call it by that, in this case, angle 4. So next door here, we've got, we could call this angle E, because the vertex is E, or doing the wraparound thing, D, E, F. We need to be more specific, or go in the other direction, F, E, D. Or finally, again, there's a small 5 inside, we could call this angle 5. Make sure it looks like a 5. Sometimes my 5 is like S's. All right, next up, we could call this angle J. Or we could call it I, J, K. Or we could call it KJI, going the other direction. Or we could just use a little two inside and call it angle two. Right, I'll leave the last one up to you. Flip over to the other side. And right, over here, All right, I'm going to do a little order of operations here. Now, we've got addition and we've got division. And that's what the, one of the things that a fraction means. This means three divided by 3. So we're going to do that first. And 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 6 plus 1 is 7. Next door here, we've got some exponents. Now, first of all, you notice we've got parentheses, and then we've got smaller parentheses inside. So whatever's inside the parentheses always gets done first. So inside these parentheses is 2 times 2, so that becomes 4, and we still have the big parentheses out here, and squared. Now, we do the exponent. So let's see, 4 squared is 
4 times 4, that's 16. Okay. Let's see, going down here. Uh, again, this bar in the part of the fraction means divided by. However, you know, what's being divided by 5? Well, 3 plus 2. We can kind of imagine that there are parentheses up here. So we do the parentheses first and then the division. So 3 plus 2 is 5 over 5. And 5 divided by 5, again, that's what the fraction bar means, is simply 1. All right. I'll leave the last few up to you. We'll go to the next one. We're going to do a little, uh, or last one up to you. We're going to do a little bit of uh, distributive property here. 9 times 1, 9 times 3x, and that's a positive 3x. I know it makes more, it's more important, I guess, when it's a negative in there, but do remember this means positive 3x. So 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times positive 3 is 27, of course our x is still there. And this means 27 times x. Over here, 2 times 5x, 2 times positive 7, 2 times 5x is 10x, that means 10 times x, 2 times 7 is 14. Okay, moving down here a little bit, we've got 3 times 6a, 3 times a negative 9, 3 times 6a, 3 times 6 is 18a, that means 18 times a, 3 times negative 9 is negative 27. Be careful with this last one, there's a negative out front, negative times a negative is a positive. All right. Well, I'll leave that one up to you. Good luck.